name is a name of interest. I wonder if you'd kind of explain some of the family connections with your name and those of your brothers and father and Yes, family. Guy. Yes, I'd be very happy to. Uh, to begin with, it is my own name, Edward Everett Horton. I use the three names because my father was very fond of it. It was his name, too, you know. And he, uh, when he discovered that I was really serious about this uh, theater life, why, he asked me to keep the three names. Nice. So I've done it, and I've been very happy because if people ever do learn to say it, they like to say it. They <laughs> roll it off their tongue, Edward Everett Horton, you know. But the name, my father's name, uh, my grandfather, to go back in, was a Baltimorean and his father before him. They were all born in Baltimore City, and uh, he was sort of a hero worshiper, my grandfather, and he had six sons, and he named them all after famous Americans. My oldest uncle was George Washington Horton, and there was a Millard Fillmore Horton, and there was a Henry Clay Horton, a Herbert Barclay Horton. I never knew who Herbert Barclay was. And then <laughs> my immediate uncle, my father's favorite brother, because they were near the same age, was Winter Davis Horton. Winter Davis? Yes, I never knew who he was. I thought maybe he was some traveling actor that my grandfather <laughs> liked. It sounds like an actor name, don't yes, you think it does? It does? Yes. But my niece, my sister's daughter, she majored in American history, and I found out that Winter Davis was the senator from Maryland that was not too enthusiastic about President Lincoln. Oh. Yes, so that's then. where that name comes. <laughs> well, my brother today is named Winter Davis, is and his right? oldest son is Winter Davis, so... Uh, we still carry it on. They like that but my father was named after Edward Everett, who was the great orator in those days, and he was the president of Harvard, and he was the ambassador to, uh, uh, to London, to, to England. Yes. And one of his uh, great accomplishments was that he was no relation of mine, whatever. None. None. We, I was, uh, you just liked the name? And yes. My grandfather liked the name and named his youngest son, who in turn named me. Well, so that's, uh, that's where we are. It's interesting when I travel through Massachusetts, which uh, has to do with the Everett family, some of the descendants of Edward Everett uh, claim that they can see in my gestures and my mannerisms, which if I have any, that I must be a direct descendant from the famous orator because those are the same things that he did. <laughs> well, I never saw him really in my whole life, so. Mr. Horton, yes. uh, about your tie, I hmm? understand that's your uh, own innovation, is that oh, right? Oh, this is the cowboy in me, I think, <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you, I think I've gotten the age where I, I can't be too droopy around here, too young. I think I've got to <laughs> sort of be a little dignified by holding up these chins, and I think a necktie helps to do it. So this is just a regular, regular bow tie that, uh, you know, you just tie in a little bow like that if you want to. I can do it without hands almost, so... So, 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 so. And there you are, you see? Oh, quick change. Yes, yeah. but I thought with uh, this way it was a, a little more... Uh, yeah, and I'm easy. glad I did it because it made you ask questions, yes, didn't it? it? Did. And then I, I like pin this here so that it doesn't uh, get away from me <laughs> and slide under here or something. <laughs> the well-dressed man, you know, nothing to it. <laughs>